Hi folks, Mike the Car Guy here with today's tip in social media for car dealerships. Uh, recently, I've had a number of conversations with general managers and even dealer principals at car dealerships that really had no idea about their dealership's presence on social media. And as we were talking, they were just not getting not only the importance, but what was being said and posted on their dealership's behalf by whoever they're having do it, whether it's a social media company or an employee of the store. So I wanted to share one of the recommendations I've been giving out to them with uh, more of you, so hopefully you guys can benefit from it. If you're not aware of what your store is, is doing online, you need to be. If you don't feel that having a Facebook profile is worth your time because you think it's just a, a, a kid's game, fair enough. What you should do is today, Monday, get out walk around your dealership and stop a couple of your employees and ask them, hey, do you follow our dealership on social media? If they say yes, ask them which, which site they follow, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or Google Plus, wherever it is. And they'll tell you, yeah, I, I'm on Google Plus and I follow the dealership. Or they'll say, no, I, I actually don't follow the dealership. If they don't follow the dealership, your course, first question to them should be why. Because what they're telling you is you have not created a dealership that they feel proud enough to, A, let people know that they work at by putting the dealership as their employment on their Facebook or Twitter or whatever. And B, it, they haven't felt that it's engaging, it's entertaining, it's fun, it's worth their time to follow as a dealership. The reason they're not seeing posts from the dealership if they are following is because they're not fun, they're not engaging, they're not worth looking at. Facebook is a pretty complicated software system. The algorithms that they use, I don't even claim to try to understand, but I do know that when you're scrolling up your feed, the things that you look at, Facebook has a way of knowing. They know how long you stay on a post. They know what you look at. They know what you're interested in. They know your likes, your desires, your hopes, your dreams. They know everything about you. And they know that people that are looking at Facebook will only stay in Facebook if they're seeing information that's relevant and interesting to them. So the fact that no one is seeing your Facebook post tells you that it's not interesting, it's not worth sharing, it's not worth liking, it's not worth looking at. So those are your challenges right now. You need to figure out, are my employees, my fans, i.e. of the dealership, the company that we work for, are they telling people that they work here? Are they proud to work here? That's a challenge. And B, if they are following the, the page on Facebook or Twitter or anything, why are they not sharing the stuff that we're putting up? Is it not good? Is it just not quality? Have them open up their phone. Say, grab your phone. Show me where you see us online. And they'll show you. And look at it yourself. Look at it as a consumer, not just a business owner. Say, if I was just scrolling up Twitter, would this be an interesting post for me? Would I feel compelled to reshare this with people that I know that are in my circle on Facebook? Would I like something knowing that everything I like, friends of mine and people that I associate with, they're going to see that I liked it? Is this worth liking? Or are they just going to think, oh, he's liking it because he works there and he's kind of obligated to like it? That's not the point of social. The key to social media is actually real simple. It's in the name social. Just be social. Share things that you like, things that you enjoy, and it'll attract other people that like and enjoy and are interested in those same things. And as a company, you need to remember that. It's not just about cold, careless posts. I saw one this morning that it was just a picture of a car and it said, do you like this fancy car? I bet it goes real fast. Wouldn't you like to drive it? Hashtag Monday motivation. Lame. There isn't anybody out there that's going to like that, share it, and post it because it's exciting and they want their friends and family to see it. It's just not the way to encourage the cultivation of an online community that's going to benefit your store and your selling of vehicles. Is there an ROI? Yes. Can I say that Joe Smith walked in your showroom today because he saw an interesting post? Maybe difficult, but I can promise you that if more of your customers are seeing you online than you believe. And if you're missing it, I want to help. I'm Mike the Car Guy. Follow me for more tips and advice, and we'll get into this pretty deep. We're going to do some spring cleaning social media stuff coming up that's going to knock your socks off. And I'm going to show you how you can take control of your digital destiny for your dealership. And if you don't want to yourself, you don't want to get your hands dirty, call me, Mike the Car Guy. I'm more than willing. Hope you're having a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.